Hello, all you lovely people, and welcome to another video of mine. Well, we live in a time of chat GPT, AI bots, and uh, text to image converters, text to video converters, and all that stuff. And I'm going to show you something cool. And then I'm going to talk about how I went about creating it. How long did it take for me to create it? Which apps or programs I used to, to create this particular video? So let's first take a look at the video. Hi, my name is Aida. How are you? Is there anything I can do for you today? So this particular video, which is of seven seconds, it took me less than 10 minutes to create it. How did I do it? Well, there are a couple of apps or programs that you need. The very first app that I want to talk about is an app called Wonder. Now, this is an image to, you could say, sorry, text to image creator. And it's available on the App Store on your iPhone. All you got to do is just download it, play, uh, I mean, pay a lifetime fee. It does not have a weekly or a monthly fee. Well, good for us. So all you got to do is just pay a lifetime fee and you're set. You don't have to pay anything extra on top of that. And you can generate as many images as you want. That's the best part about it. So we're quickly going to head over to this particular app. You see, I've already created an image here, but we're going to start from scratch. So the model may look very similar to the model that you see here, because obviously the keywords are the same. But just to show you what kind of keywords have I used, well, I'm a big fan of uh, Alexandra Daddario and also of Naomi Watts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend these two actresses. So the image that you see here is a completely AI generated image. This is not a real person, by the way, the person in the video. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend these two actresses and I'm going to give a few more keywords like uh, the character needs to have a glowing, flawless skin, blonde hair, proportionate eyes, a sensual gaze, and then a glamorous portrait. And uh, you can obviously choose an image to go along with this. But in today's video, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to use any portrait image. I'm going to go with just text to image creation. So in this case, I'm just going to hit that create button. It takes just a few seconds to create an image for you. And uh, how you can improve on the process is by constantly giving it feedback. Well, it's given you two people here, but you need one person, yeah? So here, you see, you've got this one image now, and I like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and work with this image. The problem is, if you if you notice very carefully, the eyes are a little cuckoo here. They're not um, exactly right. And I'm going to just download this image. I'm going to show you what exactly do I mean by that. So everything takes just a matter of a few seconds, by the way. This whole thing that you're seeing is happening real time, no edits whatsoever. So once you have downloaded the image over to your phone, it goes over to your photo gallery on your iPhone. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the photo gallery, but there are a few personal images as well there. So I'm going to stop mirroring here. I'm going to transfer that image that we've just seen from my photo gallery over to my computer because I'm working from my uh, iPhone over to my Mac, it becomes easier to share files. So um, all I'm gonna do is just transfer that image over to my downloads folder here. So once it appears here, I'm gonna show you that image by blowing it up out here. You, you notice how the eyes look really weird, yeah? It's not right, there's something wrong. But everything apart from that is really good. I love the way the hair is flowing. I love the texture of the skin as well. It looks all right. So what we're going to do now is before we use this image to create this video, we've got to refine that. We've got to make sure the eyes look all right. They don't look like they're cuckoo eyes, weird eyes. Yeah. So what we're going to need is this link here called GFP GAN inference. And I'm going to post the link in the description box as well. So all you got to do is just uh, click on it and it'll open up in a Chrome browser. So I'm using Chrome browser right now. You can use any other browser as well. But um, for me, I'm just going to use this since I have already run this process once. I'm going to reload the whole thing um, all over again. So none of this video is going to be cut out or anything. Everything is happening real time. Uh, some of you may not like that, but I just want you to see how long it actually takes. So you know in real time, is it going to take minutes, hours, or just a few seconds, rather? So once you have this page reloaded, what you got to do is you've got to make sure you select this option here called connect to 
a hosted runtime. Now, once you have done that, you will get an option of RAM and disk here. That's when you know that, okay, you're good to go. So what we're going to do is we're just going to follow step by step. It is numbered and it's very easy to follow. So the first step is the preparations. And although it says, or it shows a tick mark here, it only shows a tick mark because I've already run the process a couple of times before this video. So we're going to run this again, and it's going to give you a pop-up message here. All you got to do is just hit on that run anyway. If you want to read it, you can pause and read it, but I, Hey, you could just hit that run anyway. It takes a few seconds. It might take you maybe 28 to 30 seconds the first time around. But um, I think it's going to take like 20, 22 seconds for me. I've already run this. And uh, that's how long it took the last time. So I'm not sure how long it's going to take this time around. But I'm guessing that it would take around that time only. 25 seconds. So I was right. So once you are done with this, what you've got to do is come over to step number two. And it's all numbered, so it's very easy to follow. And step number two is where you upload the image that you've just created through that Wonder app. Here, you would notice that the Choose Files option is grayed out. Don't worry about it, because what you've got to do is just click on that button here, and that's when you will get the option of uploading an image. So once you hit that, as you can see, the grayed out option now becomes available. So now you can choose the file that you want to upload. So we just created this 1494 right now. And that's the image that we're going to upload. Again, all of this is happening real time. It's telling you how long it's taking. We are already 32% done with uploading the image. These are very light images, so it should not take a long time. So once you're done with it, once you have 100% here, we are going to move over to step number three. Now, before step number three, you also have something in the middle here. Please skip or avoid this and move straight over to step number three, which is the inference. You hit on that click, I mean, hit on that play button. And again, the process is going to take a few seconds. And um, yep, it will show you that it's processing the image. It's going to process 36 tiles. It's already down to say about 31, 36 out of 36. And you're done. Results are in the results folder. But we need to move forward now. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this fourth step, which is visualize. And that's where it will show you how the image was and how the image will be after it's gone through the whole process. And now, you, as you can see, I'm just going to move my image here, which is not that important. But you take a look at the comparison between the two images. It's heaven and hell, you could say. There's a huge difference. And um, you don't have those cuckoo eyes, those white lines around. And even the skin has been smoothened. And this image looks so much more glamorous now. And it's in my personal opinion, ready to use, but there are still a few more steps to go, just a couple of them. Now, you've got to hit this next point as well. So after you have hit that visualize button, between point number four and point number five, there is another step here. You can actually visualize the whole image because right now it's showing you a cropped image of only this face or this facial portion, but you want to visualize the whole image, how well the whole image look. So you've got to hit that button in between point number four and five. That's where it shows you the whole image. If you're happy with it, fantastic. I'm really happy with this uh, final image. So I'm going to go ahead and download the result. So once you click on that download button, it's going to go over to your downloads folder. Uh, very simple process so far. I hope uh, it's not been an issue following this video. I've tried to make it as simple as possible. So now that you have Download it. It's go. I mean, it's gonna go over to the downloads folder, and uh, you have that option here. So I'm gonna unzip this. I'm gonna head over here, and then I'm gonna go over to restored images. That's where your final picture is. So I'm gonna click on that, and as you can see, you've got that image. Beautiful. This is looking fantastic. But what I want to do now is I want to resize this image, and I'll tell you why I want to resize this image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a copy of this here. And I'm going to open it up in preview again. In preview, to resize the image, all you got to do is just head over to view here, right at the top. And then you've got to go over to show markup toolbar. And in markup toolbar, you have this here where you can adjust the width and the height of the image. So we need 1280 by 1280. And there's a reason why we need to go along with 1280 by 1280. It's because it's the right aspect ratio for the 
text to video generator that we need. And that's the last part of this video. So please remember the aspect ratio that you need to go for is 1280 by 1280. So I'm gonna click on that okay, and it has now converted that image over to a 1280 by 1280 image. So now that I have that, the final bit that I need to do is convert this image over to a PNG. So all you gotta do is just select that extension and just type PNG towards the end and um, select use.png. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this image now, 1494, I'm gonna head back to my downloads and I'm just gonna paste it here just to make things easier. And now we're gonna head over to the last part of this video, which is here, right here. And uh, you see this video library, we just created this video here. So you gotta go over to create video and now you've gotta select an avatar. So, you know, we've just created that avatar and we're gonna use that avatar now. So the image was 1494 copy. So this is that image and we're gonna upload that here. So as you can clearly see, the image that we created through Wonder, corrected through GFP GAN, now we are uploading that avatar here. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna head over to this section now. I'm gonna reduce the size of my video, it's irrelevant in the grand scheme of things. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna come over here and type something. So hi, let's say hi or hello. My name is, let's say, Arya. How are you? You can write anything that you want. Uh, I'm really happy to finally meet you. So that's the text that we're going along with. Now you do have an option of choosing different voices here. So let's say we wanna go along with Arya here and um, style, you can select the style as well and you can select the language as well. So there are different languages. We are gonna go ahead with English from the United States, but there are various options here that you can choose from. And as far as the style goes, we are gonna go along with newscast casual. All right, so that's the style that we are choosing to go along with. And now I'm gonna click on that generate video and click on that generate button. By the way, this site is also gonna be linked in my description box. Should you wanna go over to this site called DID. And then what you gotta do is of course, create an account. You can use your Google account to um, log into this as well. So now that the video has been generated, this is the video. So you can choose to play it just to check how it is here. And then you can choose to download it as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit that play button here and show you how this looks. I'm gonna move my video over. Hello, my name is Aurea. How are you? I am really happy to finally meet you. So now that you have created this video, what you can do is Again, download the video so that it goes over to your download folder. And now in the downloads folder, I have got this video. I'm gonna click on it. It opens up in my QuickTime player. I'm just gonna play this one more time. Hello, my name is Aurea. How are you? I am really happy to finally meet you. Now what you can also do is you can use your own voice to give the picture a voice. What do I mean by that? And before I play that video, this is probably the last section of this video where I'm gonna talk about very quickly about how you can add your voice to this picture. And uh, I'm just gonna play that bit and I'm gonna let the video do the talking because that's something that I would want you guys to do if you've really liked the video and if you've found this content to be helpful. So just take a look at this video, this is my voice. I have used like this animated kind of a person here and I did not do any corrections on the eyes, as you can see. So this was a raw image created from Wonder and exported over to DID. And that's when I added my own voice over to it. Hey everyone, if you're enjoying the content and finding it helpful, please take a moment to hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel. Your support means a lot to us and it helps us continue creating more awesome content for you. Thanks for being a part of our community. Cheers. So as you can see, this was my voice, which I added to an image that was created on Wonder. 
And the whole process can be done in a matter of a few minutes. You don't need to learn computer science. You don't need any kind of a degree to create images or videos like this anymore. All you need is a phone and a computer and you're sorted in a matter of a few minutes. Now, if you've really found this content helpful, then please let me know. And I would appreciate it if you could hit that like button. And if you wanna share this content with your friends, I would greatly appreciate it because hey, it's fun to share something like this. Knowledge is always, always appreciated when it's shared. So do let me know what you think about uh, this particular video in the comment section. If you have any questions about this, uh, then the whole process that is, then feel free to reach out to me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Now, with that said, it's a wrap for this one. I'll see you lovely folks in my next video. Until that time, I'll say take care, stay safe, and may God bless you all.